Blondo. Drum roll. Everywhere, boss. They are father. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, just jumped to 2,500. In fact, 2,700 people. From 1,400, he just brought another 1,000. He don't enter 3K, 3 one. <laughs> so as I'm talking to you now, 7,000 people, they watch me across all platforms. So boy, <laughs> the good side, retired retire from radio. This work better pass radio work. I swear. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> anyway, blessing. This matter is not funny. I want your perspective as a relationship counselor. Please tell us what your take is regarding this Yul Edoche. We, we, we had a post from his page. Let me just read it to you uh, so you understand. I just woke up this morning to this breakfast. Yul Edoche put a picture of his new son, a young son, and said, it's time for the world to meet my son. His name is Star DK Muna Chismo Muna Chimso. Sorry, Yul Edoche, born by my second wife, Judy Austin, who's an actress. Um, so, what is your take? How you view this matter? First, I was shocked. It shocked me. <laughs> I was shocked because... Anything will shock you, blessing, for this life. Anything will shock you. It will shock me because Yale had a very clean profile. He's never been involved in so many scandals. We never could hear gist about that. He gets. He's been a cool, calm, coded guy. But I think there must be a reason. There must be a reason. You know, and for him to be bold about it, a lot has happened. For a man to come out publicly, he even tagged the guest, self, tagged the second wife. That means a lot has gone beyond, you know, the public's eye. For him to be able to be bold, he's not even shy about it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Blessing talk. If you, to talk. if you decide to talk, how we want to address this matter? Oh, it's just shock. I'm actually shocked because, um, I don't know. You know, now, Ed, that freeze, there's no story. We don't know what transpired. We don't know what happened. You just come tell us, say, you don't welcome another child than that woman. So, no story. So, until the wife come out, come talk, now we go going get gist. I hear say for Insta blogging, why don't come talk, say God be judge you both. Did you see that? Yes. Yes. And to me, that, that shows that the wife came from a place of pain. Pain. What's your personal take on polygamy? Did you ever experience it? Like I told my story, I came from a polygamous home. My father is polygamous. He has two wives. Uh, what about you? Did you experience it at any point? I've never experienced polygamy. Uh, but um, I just feel it's disrespectful. If the wife can come out and say, God, we judge the both of you, I feel maybe she's not aware, do you understand, of it. So for her to be this hot, maybe it's something they've been hiding. I know that this babe where you're and, um, are now saying being second wife, now actress. You see, maybe not from the acting, acting. They go shoot movies, they shoot... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that you like, I don't know. I don't know. Polygamy can be heartbreaking, especially when you're not carrying your spouses along. But how do you carry like, your spouse? Don't tell your wife, darling, I want to marry another woman. Or darling, I want to marry another man. How did they take talk him? Which mouth? You know, say, it should be say, um, the common Nigerian woman, African women, they like lies. They like deceit. Mm. That's the honest truth. So I don't see a lot of Nigerian and African women who say they prefer their husbands to cheat but don't marry another wife. They prefer their mm. husbands to have baby man, but don't have another wife. So most times, the men do not even know how to approach. And to be very honest with you, Daddy Freeze, oftentimes a man takes another wife, the marriage has damaged. Beyond you know, a lot of Yes, a lot of couples are just cohabiting. They are no longer married. So many of them, especially in this part of the world called Africa, they don't want to divorce, but they are just cohabiting in the same house. And it's so crazy when this person does not want you to move on while the marriage is not working. 
So if we begin to hear the story, you go fit, you go fit, be say, long time ago, yeah, and your wife, no even day in talking terms. Mm. You know, yes. For him to be bold, like, it's his audacity for me. That audacity is coming from a place. It's not like, oh, he was in good terms with his wife, he was in love with his wife. No. For him to have that audacity is like daring her. What do you feel do? So we don't know what have transpired. He's, he did not, I don't think he just woke up because... I'm um, watching Yale for a long time. He's not been a scandalous person. He's not been a violent person. He's always been a normal, calm guy. That you know, he's very. He, he tries to want to be nice to everybody. So for him to come out this much, I feel there's so much we don't even know about. So maybe as time unfolds, we get to know what the problem is. Mm. But for now, we don't talk because we never know this. But I feel his marriage would have been long gone before he decided to make this decision. That's what I feel. Mm. Can you imagine your husband? Let's imagine you marry someone, and then the guy comes in one day and says, Oh, blessing, I want to bring home a second wife. What would you do? I would say, No problem, but I would divorce him first. What if this guy is wealthy, like Elon Musk? Then I would, if he's very wealthy, then you have to divide and give me my own share. Let me go. No, he signed a prenup with you and said, if you marry me, you will collect the monthly salary of $10,000 a month and I will pay the children's school fees and all and I will pay your house rent if you divorce. But if not, and you continue marrying me, you enjoy private jets, all the things you were enjoying before. <laughs> I'll stay married, but I don't think that man is going to live longer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's going to live long. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't think he's going to live long. I personally, as a person, I'm a very emotional person, so I don't know how to share. Mm. I don't know how to share. That's just me. If it's not working, I would rather leave than share. I don't know how to share. That's the, if I share my man, I won't give my best. I would just be, if, if you see me sharing, I'm just playing games, or it's for benefit, I want to just collect something and go, but I don't know how to share that's for me as a person so i don't think it'll work for me even if i marry a man and there's a prenup i feel i should be wealthy enough to still take a walk i should have made my own money to still take a walk because emotions can be crazy you you know let's get to just see how the drama unfold you see that maybe yell's wife has been enduring a loss that we don't know for a long time now remember there's no storyline now maybe after two days this first story will begin uh -huh. we don't know what she has endured we don't know what he has endured so until we get to hear the story, the juice never too sweet now. Now make we just go the wait small, make we swear they go still spill more more juice. But to be very honest with you, Daddy Freeze, I respect men that take that bold step to marry another wife than cheat. Yeah. Well you just said I, you will leave that man. He takes the bold that, step. That's exactly what I'm saying. I will leave you because um I cannot share. But I prefer you own up. Because if you cheat, I will still leave you. If you marry another wife, I will still leave you. I just like the fact that you own up to it. More like, don't play me. Some women can live as second wives. All we demand as women is, if you, if you tell me you're marrying a second wife, you've given me to choose between left or right. Don't just fool me. Don't deceive me. So it takes a real man with guts to be able to come up and say that. I respect him for that. To be very honest, instead of lying to a woman, deceiving her that she's the only one in your life, blah blah blah. So, there are some women that can actually live with a second wife. I feel mm. it is more affected than a side chick. That's what I feel. Mm. And if you know who you're dealing with, that's the honest truth. But, like I said, the common Nigerian women don't like truth, they like lies. That's mm. the truth. Because, whatever, if your husband marries a second wife, at least you know what is going on. Then, when there's a side chick, you don't even know who you are dealing with. There's a face. She comes home. So if you're a woman that can deal with it, I love it. I love men that have such gods. I might not take it as a woman, but I respect a man who will say, baby, I want to take another wife, and I will not tell you, baby, I cannot take it. I'd rather leave. Baby, now, for you to be fooling me. Yes, bye. don't fool me. Hi, baby. Bye, baby. Bye. And all of us, we just go with that clean slate that, okay, I fell out of love. Because in marriage, we fall out of love. Because mm. if you can come you've taken another wife i'll ask you baby why you can now tell me okay this is the reason this is the reason and that is the reason 
So if I cannot stand your decision, I either take a walk or I remain there. But I feel it's even respect, it's more respectable when a man marries another wife than a side chick. I mm. respect most that, yes. I used to have a lot of Muslim friends and I respect them for that. And mm. they treat them equally. Yes, it's better to have a second wife than a side chick because men are able to plenty for this world now. As we know, get plenty. Do you understand? Mm. So I don't get anything wrong with that. Mm. Well spoken. You have touched on every chord and addressed every salient point. In fact, I'm not even waiting to talk again. Let's wish them the best. Now, what will your advice be to his wife, me? Uh, to his wife, I'll just say she should take it easy. Eh? Um, don't, 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 don't take it easy. Yeah, she has to take it easy. Now, what does she want to do? These are things that we don't have power over. Yeah, mm. things you don't, don't marry the woman. You say you don't marry her. You don't give her belly. Don't give her belly. She's not even born. Now, we don't even know how long her husband hid this pregnancy from her. Remember I said we don't know the storyline yet. We don't mm. know whether the man know. We don't even know how long he's been married to her if she's actually aware. So she cannot do anything. But what does she want? She won't go beat the girl. So mm. either she take it easy because she already have grown up children for him. She just has to take it easy. Mm. That's just it. It's something you don't have power over. And I used to tell a lot of young women, you cannot own a human being. You can't own a man. You can't own a woman. He has made his decision to want to have a wife. What can you do? Nothing. So if you cannot endure it, you take a walk. There are only two options to relationship and marriage. Endure or waka de go. Mm. Yes, that's the only... What do you want to do? She wants to beat the woman. Enter kiri kiri. So it's either mm. she just zip it up, take it. I don't know the story. Now, I don't know what to tell her because there's no storyline. I don't know if you all lied to her, if she knew... Do you understand? So because yeah. there's no, I don't necessarily know what to say at this point until probably we have a storyline behind mm. it. Somebody said, um, 17 years of marriage. In this 17 years of marriage, you don't know what have transpired. Maybe for even 14 years, they've not been talking to each other. So it's mm -hmm. not even about marriage. A lot of married people are just cohabiting. They are not married. They are just roommates. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things happen in marriage. So you don't even know how long they've been together. So some of you are just counting the numbers, but you don't even know how many moments that they've shared. Mm. Like I said, you fail to have the audacity to put out the child and tag the woman. Ah, ah, a lot would have transpired. A mm. lot would have transpired. Mm, 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 mm. My darling sister, thank you for taking um, your time out to join us. It's been, it's been quite hectic and I know you are so busy. Thank you so much for always honoring me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm about to hit 10,000 followers on TikTok. Guys, please follow me at Daddy FRZ. It was a blessing that dragged me to TikTok. Oh, now she did. Why are you not live on TikTok? My TikTok family, I hail you. They are li I'm live with them now. As I'm live, I'm live on four platforms. 3,000 oh. people on 700 people on YouTube, 3,000 people on Instagram, and 200 people on Facebook. So that's like 6,200. More than that. Sir. So TikTok to the contribute. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessing, see you, my darling sister. God so bless. Much. Take care, and we appreciate. Uh, you. Big shout out, guys, to uh, Blessing CEO. Uh, who else do you guys want us to bring so I can close this? I've given you my biblical perspective. That's what I started um, from Oluchi Arinzi. You have to come here. 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 They're not born you where you must come today. You must come. Oluchi, you must come. You, I'm, I want to hear you people's perspective. When I go to run from my life, no be today. I go call you out. Hey! <laughs> See how fast they walk. <laughs> Hello, Daddy Priest. Hi, my darling sister. Oluchi, by the way, is one of the best real estate uh, people in this Lagos. You're looking for house, <laughs> you're looking for land, you're looking for <laughs> island property, Koyi, Lekis, especially. I don't know if you do places like uh, Manguru, uh, uh, Mero, Alagbado. <laughs> Not yet. We'll get there. Dobi. Very soon. Very soon. <laughs> yeah. Hey.